Namaste. In this particular class, we are dealing with numerical or method of sections. So we, we are going to considering the same problem whatever we solved using method of joints. So the methods uh, have already discussed uh, in the previous classes. So now we will discuss one by one. In the first step, we are going to check whether the given truss is determinate or not. So the given truss is perfect truss. This method we already discussed using m equal to j minus r. We are validating the, whether the given truss is perfect or not. So in second method, we are passing a section through the given truss. So what is the condition? The when we are passing a section, the condition is very simple. The unknown members should be three, not more than three. Clear? And also one more condition. There are uh, two members should be from one common point, which means when you are passing a section here, it is cutting this. So the two members having common point C, this is allowed. This condition must be satisfied. Clear? So that's why when you come to this problem, I am passing section like this. To pass section, whether it may be horizontal or it may be curved or it may be inclined or it may be vertical. Clear? The thing is, the condition is very simple. The maximum cutting of the member, unknown member, should be allowed only three. And also, two members out of three members, two members having one common point. Must it must have one common point. In this problem, C is common point for C A and C B. Hence, it is fine. Clear? So, this condition must be satisfied when you are following method of section. Clear? The first thing is the maximum member, unknown member should be allowed 3 and also out of 3 members, 2 members should be having one common point. 2 members should be having one common point. Clear? So, I am cutting this particular truss into 2 parts. Next thing, I am considering only one part, only one section. Here, I am removing this section. I am considering only this section. And also, when you are cutting the unknown members, the unknown members should be assumed as tensile force. Clear? See, here also I have assumed tensile. Here also I have assumed tensile. Here also I have assumed tensile. So, this is FCA, this is FCB, and th this is FDB. Clear? So, these are the unknown forces we are going to determine using method of section. See, be careful when you are in your examination what they will ask. They will ask when you come to method of section question, they will ask particular member forces. Don't worry. They will ask like compute the member forces in CA, CB, DB. But in case of method of joints, they will ask to compute all member forces. Clear? So, here I am asking to determine CA, CB, DB. Okay? You just cut into section, consider one particular section and assume unknown members as tensile forces. Clear? So, and this angle, compute this angle using the triangle I have already explained in method of joints. Consider this triangle, apply this is theta, tan theta, opposite by adjacent 3 by 4. Theta equal tan inverse 3 by 4, you are getting 36.87 and resolve. Always inclination angle is cos theta, therefore it will become FCB cos 36.87 and the remaining one FCB sine 36.87. This is the free body diagram. For this free body diagram, for this free body diagram, apply equations of equilibrium in next step. So, because here three unknown members forces are there, apply three equations of statics sigma fx equals 0, sigma fy equals 0, and sigma moment at any point, consider any point which is equal to 0. Clear? So, next apply sigma fy equals 0. When you are applying sigma fy equals 0, take upward forces as positive and downward forces as negative. So, it will become less for whole structure. Don't consider joint because this is method of section. When you are doing method of section, consider the entire section. Clear? So, plus FCA plus FCB sin 36.87 plus FDB plus phi minus 10 minus 20 equals 0. So, you are getting this equation here. You are getting this equation A. This take this simultaneous equation as A. Next, apply sigma fx equals 0. For this, all right side forces considered as positive and left side forces considered as negative. So apply the thing conditions here. So, plus FCB cos 36.87 plus 10. Only two horizontal forces the two horizontal forces 
which is equal to 0 you are getting fcb substitute fcb here okay uh, and also here you are having two unknown forces if you substitute fcb also here there are two unknown forces hence what you have to do apply one more equations of statics to this particular equation i am considering moment at c equals 0 consider moment at c equals 0 or consider moment at d equals 0 both will give answers so if you take moment at c equals 0 these two forces will become 0 all this junction whatever the junction forces passing all are 0 because those forces are not having any perpendicular distance but this fdb is rotating in anti clockwise direction minus fdb into 4 minus 5 into 4 and plus 20 into 2 okay only this is the condition you just apply here here you are getting fdb that is minus 5 kN compressive substitute this fdb and fcb in equation 1 you are getting fce okay you just uh, see whether check whether the answer obtained in method of joints have written all the nature of forces whatever we obtained in method of joints the same slide have written here you just check the answer here fdb minus 5 here also is just the compressive 5 clear similarly you just see fce 27 here also 27 10 sign clear so whatever is the method whether it is method of joints or method of section you have to get the same answers here the conditions are different in joints you are going to consider each joint but in section you are cutting the interest into two particular uh, parts and you are considering one section clear and when you are cut when you are considering particular section the condition is there are three unknown members out of three unknown members two unknown members should must point pass through a one single common point that is very very important thing okay this is just representation i have already uh, explained how to represent in the previous uh, tutorial now we move on to the second problem I have, here also have considered the same point the step one i am checking whether this is a determinant or not so we got it's a perfect trust no problem next determination of external support reaction this is whether it is method of joints or method of section this step is same clear so I have computed VA value, I have computed VD value, I have computed HD value. This is horizontal reaction, vertical reaction, here also vertical reaction using these three equations of equilibrium. Here also you just uh, observe, here I have given inclined force 10 kN at 20 degree. You resolve this horizontal cost 10 cos 20, vertical 10 sin 20. Here. So next uh, for the entire structure, apply the equations of statics, compute VA, VD and HD. Next, just cut a section, pass a section through truss. Pass a section through truss. Clear? Pass a section through truss and consider any one part. Whether you consider left side of the free body diagram or right side of the free body diagram. Clear? And the unknown members are assumed to be tensile the unknown members are assumed to be tensile with respect to joint the forces are acting away with respect to joint the forces are acting away whether you consider right side also with respect to joint the forces are acting away with respect to joint the forces are acting away clear so consider any left portion or right portion any one section clear and also the one more condition is out of three unknown forces two member forces should be having one common point out of three unknown forces two unknown forces should be having one common point okay see so have considered left part and this is tensile fbc tensile ffc tensile ffe and this theta is computed using tan inverse 3 by 4 we are getting 36.86 just resolve this clear and for this entire half of this section apply three equations of equilibrium once again sigma fx equals 0 sigma fy equals 0 and sigma m at any point equals 0 apply sigma fx equals 0 which means this is positive this is also positive only three forces fbc plus ffc cos 36.87 plus ffe c equals 0 take this as equation 1 Next, apply sigma fy equals 0. All upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative. Minus 20 plus 20.16 plus FFC sin 36.87. Only these three forces are there. Compute FFC. 
Here, next you take another equilibrium condition that is sigma m a equals 0. If you take sigma m a equals 0 at this point, this is 0 because acting in same line. Here, 20 into 2 clockwise. Next, this is 0 because parallel and minus f f c 36, sin 36.87 into 2. Next, this f b c into 3. Only these forces clear. Clockwise, anti clockwise, clockwise. So finally compute FFC, FBC, BC value, substitute this FBC as well as FFC in equation 1, you are getting FFE value. So this is, these are the values I have got from method of section, we just have retained whatever the method of joints, uh, tabulations uh, of nature of forces, just compare FFE 13.67, FFE 13.6, FFE, there is FFE here 13.67 clear 65 is okay no problem little variation is allowed clear 65 right exact here fbc minus 13.43 compressive c bc compressive clear similarly representation this is also have retained have explained in method of joints clear the concepts um, what is the difference between method of joints and method of section is when we are computing method of joints the unknown member should be only two. We are using only two equations of equilibrium that is sigma fx equals zero and sigma f y equals zero. When you are coming to method of section, I am considering the entire half part of the intersection and I am applying three equations of equilibrium and also my unknown members should be three, not greater than three. Clear? And also there are two member out of three unknown members two mem unknown members should be having one single common point this is the thing you have to remember always when you are solving these method of joints and method of sections clear so if you are having any doubts please uh, uh, regarding any doubts please clarify uh, just put a mail or put a mail inbox to mail no problem so thank you